welcome to the Business Miracles Podcast. I'm Heather Dominic, founder of businessmiracles.com and author of the book, Different, The Highly Sensitive Leadership Revolution, found at differentthebook.com. Since 2010, I've been training highly sensitive entrepreneurs and leaders from around the globe to work less while making more impact and income by doing things differently. I'm so glad you joined me. Listen in and get ready. Get ready for a shift in the way you view yourself, your work, your life. A business miracle. This is A Course in Business Miracles podcast, episode 192, Achieve HSP Financial Peace. In this episode, I discuss the importance of lightheartedness when it comes to your investments and to generating income in your business as a highly sensitive. I share how your nervous system responds to what you feed it. And since we have a higher nervous system response than the other 80%, the non-highly sensitives of the world, the key to our success lies in using both inner and outer core practices, all to keep our vibe up and access hope over worry. This is our role as royal advisors in these tumultuous times. Here we go. We are here together today to focus on the topic of hold things lightly and care deeply with investments and income generation. (laughs) A hot topic. You may or may not recall from other various business miracles, money mindset trainings, around abundance and prosperity. I have definitely shared before, according to thought leader Louise Hay, that it is easier to teach and train on sex than it is on money. (laughs) So let's all take in a deep breath. Breath in and let it out. So first, from psychcentral.com, three main reasons people worry. Fear of losing control, caring too much, and as a way to cope with managing stress. From psychology today, in the past, we have worried about something but then everything turned out okay. And the result is that our brain pairs the feeling of worry with a positive outcome. The brain becomes convinced that worrying helps us get the results that we want. When in truth, there is no neurological direct correlation. From the Cleveland Clinic, the top five ways to keep your limbic system healthy. One, eat nutritious, well-balanced meals. Two, get regular exercise. Three, spend time with people you like. Four, participate in activities that you enjoy. And five, practice gratitude. Bringing all of this together, the limbic part of the nervous system responds to what we feed it, worry or otherwise. HSPs have higher nervous system response. We have control over what we feed our nervous system. Also the reminder that hope is a conviction that one can act to make things better. A core practice of lightheartedness gives you access to hope over worry, which gives you access to action. Also, lightheartedness isn't a what, 
It's a way. The mastery of both holding things lightly and caring deeply to access a clear heart and an inspired mind, all for more ease in action. Again, you are in charge of what you feed your highly sensitive nervous system. You are the architect of your destiny. This is how and why clear heart and an inspired mind is earned, not given. And why we each right now are being called higher as HSPs to step forward and show up as leaders. In our families, with our friends, in our local communities, in our businesses, in organizations, all to commit more deeply to be in action more widely, to go further than we've ever gone in commitment to the ways we are each being called, called into service, called into business, called into all actions including income generation in leadership, in life. It is time to act, not from pushing, from empathetic compassion, to demonstrate to others how a different way is possible. To hold lightly, care deeply, and act with clarity. Now, let's apply all of this to investments and income generation. In a time when so many, so many people are operating from fear when it comes to investment and income. What is the role of the HSP Royal Advisor? Well, when approached through the lens of hold things lightly and care deeply, the Royal Advisor activates hope for others. The Royal Advisor activates hope for others with the conviction to act to make things better through a core practice of lightheartedness, both inner, using energy management tools and other tools to keep your vibe up and outer, taking actions in line with what you want to be experiencing and creating. So let's consider these inquiry questions. Personally, I have no attachment to your response, your honest response to these questions. My invitation is an opportunity to hold things lightly and care deeply as a royal advisor. So again, for example, let's consider if you want others to be investing in your services, Are you investing in the services of others? Or are you holding back, waiting for others to make the first move? Oh, I can't do X, Y, and Z until I have A, B, C number of clients. If 
you want to be raising your rates, are you willing to pay the rates of others? Or are you secretly resentful? If you want to be experiencing a sense of economic hope, expansion, and freedom, are you acting from this energy in your investments? Or are you waiting to be told that the global economy has shifted and now you can have what you want? If you want to be actualizing positive change for yourself, are you investing time and energy to follow through on the aligned support that will get you there? Or are you searching for a quick fix to avoid having to actually face the challenges of true change? Or hunkering down until this all blows over? Take a breath in and let it out. If you desire to make an income leap, are you consistently investing time and energy using tools to support you that are designed to track progress over time, such as the income tracking or planning for monthly income increase, using the 30-day plan to do so, or engaging in a consciously created transition plan. Each of these tools, income tracking, 30-day plan for monthly income increase, the transition plan, are all extremely valuable outer tools, especially if you are a visual or kinesthetic learner. Regardless, for all of us, knowledge is power. Or again, are you searching for a quick fix to avoid having to actually face the challenges of true change and avoiding that true change is a process over a designated period of time that requires consistent investment of attention, time, energy, and use of resources. If you are faced with income challenges? Are you investing in receiving support to use tools that help you to pivot, adjust, adapt as needed in real time while building discomfort resilience? Or are you suffering in shame? and isolation, refusing to ask for support, refusing to have difficult conversations, choosing to pull back, shrink down, and just cross your fingers that somehow this will all change without you having to. Also from psychology today, highly sensitive people often experience emotions more intensely. They may feel overwhelmed by strong stimuli, such as loud noises or crowded environments, and can be deeply affected by others' emotions. From medical news today, 
HSPs tend to process information deeply, which can lead to overthinking and stress. They may also have a lower tolerance for high levels of sensory input, making them more prone to anxiety in chaotic situations. You are in charge of what you feed your highly sensitive nervous system. You are the architect of your financial peace. P E A C E. You are the architect of your financial peace. You are capable of holding things lightly and caring deeply when it comes to investing and income generation. This is how and why clear heart and an inspired mind when it comes to investments and income generation is earned, not given and why we are each being called higher right now as HSPs to step forward and show up as leaders. And that includes how we relate with our money and the actions we take when it comes to investing and income. In service to your 12 month goal, if you're working with one, in service to your business and life growth, in service to your purpose as an HSP in business and leadership. Ask yourself, what would my inner royal advisor recommend? And I'll say that again. Ask, what would my inner royal advisor recommend? The royal advisor activates hope with the conviction to act to make things better. Last thought for this training, I would never, ever, ever teach anything that I haven't done and or am doing myself. And especially when it comes to money and sex but we don't cover that in this highly sensitive leadership training program. That's a different program, including it's not part of the relationship track. Maybe that's a thought for the future. Most importantly, I've been self-employed for 21 years. I've had no money when the economy was flush. I've had more money than I've ever had when supposedly the economy was in a depression and anything and everything in between. If you truly embrace our HSP strength of being spiritual by nature, then you know deep in your heart that abundance is always flowing. The question is, again, will you wait for the powers that be to tell you that it's time to believe that now? Or will you really dig deep and step forward to lead the way by trusting and having faith in a truly bigger power. 
and be an advocate for the ways that you know how you're here to contribute as an HSP is of value, is worth investing in, and makes a difference for others. And will you demonstrate that by having enough faith and belief in yourself to invest based on what you know over what others tell you to see. The choice, always yours. Me, no personal attachment. But what I know to be true is we are each in charge of what we feed our nervous system. And you, are the architect, as am I, of your destiny, and that includes your financial peace. Breath in and let it out. Thank you for being a part of this Business Miracles podcast episode and for beginning to dip your toe into the journey of highly sensitive leadership training. If you are ready to truly use your sensitivities as strengths in all parts of your work and life, I invite you to connect for a one-on-one chat. You will experience being deeply listened to and together we'll get a sense of whether the highly sensitive leadership training programs are the best next step for you and your highly sensitive journey at this time. Just go to www.claritycall.com to schedule a conversation. We so look forward to connecting with you. Talk to you soon.